Welcome to the San Blas Canillejas district of this great football city, Madrid. It's a delight to be with you from the Metropolitano. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Spain versus Croatia. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Here's the lineup for Spain. Carvajal starts with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Ferran Torres plays with Oyarzabal in the wide positions. And the main striker today is Morata. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrej Kramaric. And they kick off here. Out of play and a Spain throw in forthcoming. Sergio Busquets. Oyar Sabal. And it might be. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Mateo Kovacic. Ivan Perisic, now can they make something happen? He takes aim, able to get a body in the way. And that'll be a Spain throw-in. Alvaro Morata, a wonderfully driven forward. And Stuart, you would have to suspect he's going to have something to say for himself here. Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Pedri. Creative look about this. Morata. On to Koke. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Mario Pasalic. Modric. And on to Kovacic. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Kovacic. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Big chance. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal.
Sergio Busquets. Koke. Laporte. Jordi Alba. Now Morata. Are they going to forge ahead? And fired against the crossbar. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now. They just need to take one of these chances. Well, they have to have that sense of self-bullet. He can't hold on to it. Morata, superb block. Josip Juranovic. Look at Modric. And an astute piece of defending. Eric Garcia. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. A goal to give them a 1 0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And that pass could be troublesome. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, getting in the way, superb save. They favoured a short one here. Determined defending. Modric. Could cross it in here. Carvajal. How could he take them on and beat them? Busquets. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Morata. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Kramaric. Oh, what an opportunity. And Luka Modric has found the back of the net. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And what a finish from Modric. He gives the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. It's such a powerful strike. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Morata. Koke. Cut out superbly by Kovacic. Modric. And space for them here on the flank. And whipped into the box. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Koke. And the attack looks promising. And let's give credit to the defending. An example of how to press.
Morata. Now, who can he play it to? And reading it absolutely superbly. Morata. The ball with Luka Modric. And so it is. The first half has come to an end here in the Spanish capital. Luka Modric, a man at the hub of so many things creative, bringing his influence to bear, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Needs an accurate cross. Must score! Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. Coque. Ferran Torres. On to Morata. Well, potential danger. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Modric. Well, simply couldn't beat the first defender. Sergio Busquets. Oyar Sabal. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Pedri making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Could be! And denied by the post. And a time for cool heads. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Well, they have to have that sense of self-belief. It could happen for them. And possession given away. Breaking at pace. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw in. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. That's really good and effective physical play. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, we're into the final half hour. There to win it back. Sergio Busquets. Koke, Morata, Pedri, and Torres on the ball, and he read it well. Mateo Kovacic, Josip Juranovic, good movement, and teammates to play it to. Decent cross, but Jordi Alba was the block. Now they are to intercept. Kramerich. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Ferran Torres. Carvajal. Into the final 20 minutes. He has teammates around him.
Sergio Busquets. And just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Oyar Sabal, body on the line. Moving forward effectively. Who can he pick out? And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Perisic. Top class defending. Kramaric. And now with Kovacic. And now Perisic. Big chance. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Now, how about the short corner? And a useful cross. And the danger still on. Perisic. Real chance. Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't on target. And they will make the change now. Sergio Busquets. And here's Gerard Moreno. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. A wonderful save to keep it level. That's a wonderful save. He was so alert there. Elects to go short. This looks threatening. Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. It's opening up for them. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gets them victory. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with aplomb. It's a great goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Lovro Maia. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And it's gone behind for the corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Well, a top-level contribution from Ayar Thabal. He enjoyed himself. Stuart, what did you make of his performance? Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. 
and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.